Good afternoon, I am Precious Mzea Sakaleji. Welcome to Kamna TV Media News. The headlines. Police face off with PF officials as DEC holds on to Esther Lungu's properties. FDD President Edith Nawakri rejects Vendata comeback. Join me with the details after this commercial. The Agriculture and Commercial Show is back, bigger and better under the theme Innovation Through Technology. And as Kamna TV, we are here to transform your business through our technology. Advertise with us on discounted rates during the month of July and during the Agriculture and Commercial Show. Special price package for live stunt interviews, on-screen product placement during the coverage of the show. For more details, call the following numbers. Cabinet TV, not just another channel. And now the media news in detail. Zambia police officers Tuesday manhandled a UPND cadre who attempted to block the former Republican president, Edgar Lungu, from proceeding inside the commission premises where he had gone to offer solidarity to his wife, who went for questioning over the alleged ownership of 15 flats. Meanwhile, after an hour of being interrogated, the former First Lady, Esther Lungu, was asked to leave. What a day it was Tuesday morning, the 26th of July 2022, when the former First Lady Esther Lungu appeared before the Drug Enforcement Commission headquarters in Lusaka for questioning in relation to the 15 flats repossessed by the Commission recently in Lusaka State Lodge area, alleged of being property, suspected of being proceeds of crime. With the tight security like a war zone leading to the Commission, United Party for National Development cadres attempted to block the vehicle that was carrying the former First Lady and her husband, former Republican President Edgar Lungu. What was more interesting is that the officers told the PF officials that they did not want to see the presence of Economic and Equity Party leader Chulfi Tali, as he was not invited. You can invite people and stop them from entering. Is Tali invited? Huh? Is he invited? Is he invited? Where is the summons for Tali? Is he invited? You invited Tali? No. Is he invited? Is he invited? Is he invited? Have you seen Tali here? Tali is not invited. Have you seen Tali? So huh? if he's there, no. let your team. Okay, can you, okay, can you please? Can you, this is not deck. Give instructions at the gate. No, fine. Let's yeah, go. Give instructions at the gate. Let's do this. Yeah. Mr. Mamba, then you sound more reasonable. Okay. What do you mean he says you sound more to us? So let's point at me like that. No, no, no. Mateo, I know it's so on that way. I know it's so on that way. I know you can't intimidate me. You understand? Yes. Then we are going to know you. Almost an hour of being interrogated here at the Drug Enforcement Commission headquarters. The former First Lady, Esther Lungu, has been released and left by the law enforcement agency. Her legal counsel, Makebi Zulu, told the media shortly after the interrogation that the matter has been settled. We can't be doing all the investigations for them. We investigated for them to establish ownership. We should investigate for them again to establish how the building was done. Who will not do that? And today we are glad that we have put this matter to bed. And we know that the matter has been settled and we don't expect it to come. But should they come back, we know it is a witch hunt. However, according to the Drug Enforcement Commission spokesperson, Matthias Kamanga says an ordinary statement was recorded from the First Lady and the property is seized and further investigations are continuing following her explanation. After all was done and they were back at their apartment in Twin Palm area, the First Family chose to maintain a vow of silence but gave the honor of addressing the media to acting president given Lubinda. The former first lady was kept in suspense for one week purely because somebody wanted to do some window dressing. That was a torturous one week for her. 
torturous one week for her friends, for her husband and her family. She was supposed to have appeared last week, hadn't it been because somebody wanted to pretend that he is governing this country in a manner that is satisfactory. Meanwhile, Imbatwat Kabushi member of parliament, Boma Lusambo, still maintains his ambition of being president. My ambitions, are, I, I launched the ambition some time back, and it's not a secret. And I want to come and change the way Zambians uh, perceive politicians, okay? Politicians are good people, okay? They work tirelessly. They live their family. Miriam Kaimba, reporting for Kamne TV News. <laughs>
and on KCM and Vedanta opting to resolve matters outside the court, she said Vedanta has been a bad investor and must not be accepted back in Zambia. And how they came in, picking up the mines for literally nothing, $25 million, and the devastation that they've caused on the copper belt. You can't. Uh, in, in my tribe, we say, You can't be going back to Vedanta now. You need to be looking ahead. We have been miners as a country. We've run mines. And there are countries in the world that are in joint partnership with mining houses. Chile, for example, at a time when we were getting literally nothing from mining, Chile was getting close to 50% of their income from the mining houses because they were in partnership with the mining houses. Patrick Soko, Calmnet News in Lusaka. Some council workers in Lusaka have protested at what they term as unfair termination of contracts, alleging that the Lusaka City Council owes them seven months in arrears. Speaking to Kamne TV Tuesday, one of the affected workers, Johnson Kaumba, has complained over their unpaid dues, adding that the council did not give them any prior notice. There was a fracas Tuesday morning at the Saka City Council where council workers took it upon themselves to protest over what they term as an unfair termination of their job contract by the local authorities. These workers say it has come as a shock to them as early this morning their Jobs have been terminated by the council without any prior notice. Details on the matter are that these council workers had allegedly entered into a verbal contract with Lusaka City Council in November of 2021, which gave them permission to continue working as council employees despite their two years contract having ended in November of the same year. And speaking to Kamnet TV, Agatha Katema, a group leader, says the council had stated that these 143 council workers are not subject to any termination as they were allowed to continue working. However, earlier today the council had informed them of their termination. They say that for the past eight months that they have been working for the council, they owe them seven months in arrears. And the workers have since called on Osaka City Council to either keep them in employment or consider settling the areas. After Abana, the children get to be separate and change. At now, what time to match? No, but finish match today. So, what if I be shive? The children match today. It is they have employed new people. They have new. They have what to want here if they have used us. We have taught those people what to do. At the end of it, they have come. They have come out and then they have chased us to say we are now become useless. Why? We have got families. And then when we go in the offices there, they are upset. We have worked for that money. We, are, we have money. suffered. Okay, we don't want a job. We need our money. Let them give us now. If they are not going to give us our money, everyone here, tomorrow we are reporting for work. Mr. Chanika reporting for Kamnet TV News in Lusaka. Well, that news item brings us to the end of Kamna TV Media News, but before we go, here are the headlines once again. Police face off with PF officials as DEC holds on to Esther Lungu's properties. FDD President Edith Nawakri rejects Vedanta comeback. Thank you for watching. I am Precious Mzea Sakaleji. Good afternoon.